Hey guys, uh, it's Hans. Thought I'd do my uh, video review, video uh, blog, whatever for the week. Um, first off, I just want to start a few real quick last thoughts to wrap up that uh, Xbox stuff from last week. I'm really glad how it went. Um, I'm really glad that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> um, because even before I started posting that stuff, I'd been looking over those docs for like a week and a half straight. So, I mean, I basically read nothing for like, I don't know, like 15, 20 straight days, but just looking over those same few pa same pages over and over and over and over again. And yeah, I was just sick of them like halfway through last week. I actually tried to pass off some of those posts on another writer. Um, but no, I did it myself, finally because um, no one else would take them, and <laughs> they're, they're up, they're done, I stand by them. Um, one thing I, I do want to address, I didn't address it in the post, I kind of forgot about it, and hinted at it in the comments, but uh, um, thought I'd talk about it real quick here, then kind of move on and never speak of it again, because I'm sick of it. Um, <laughs> but uh, people did point out, and rightfully so, that... Uh, the date I give is based on this, essentially the start of uh, CES, Consumer Electronics Show, in uh, Vegas in January every year. And last year, Microsoft said that would be their last year ever as an official participant of CES. Now, these docs, not to say how old they are exactly, because again, don't want to give too much away about them just for the sake of the source and various other things I've talked about in the past, um, they do predate that announcement. But knowing that, I still went with it anyway for a couple of reasons. First, just because they aren't an official participant of CES doesn't mean they can't announce something the weekend of CES. I talked about the, I've said it in the comments, I've said, I'll explain it a bit more. The first year I went to PAX, uh, base, on some riding on someone else's coattails to get into press events, um, <laughs> I got into an Activision event where they were showing off several things that year. Like, I think that like Blur and Tony, the first time that one of the first times they were showing off Tony Hawk's Ride <laughs> um, <laughs> and some other crap they had. I don't know, but um, the point is that was a big event. Like the biggest names in the gaming press were there. They're this was one of the few times they were showing these things off that year. Everyone wanted to be there, and there was free booze, so that probably helped get the press there. But they did not have one square inch on the show floor of PAX. They flew into town. They knew all the press would be there anyway. They rented a hotel conference room, set up a bar, set up some TVs, and that's how they got their coverage. They got just as much coverage as Activision, actually more than Sega, because Sega had a god awful little look, like cubby hole of a booth that year. They just <laughs> they just didn't try it back that year. Um, but basically, just because they weren't an official part of the show didn't mean they didn't get just as much coverage as the companies that were a part of the show. Um, the other reason is. I've heard some people say, oh, there's no way they would want to do this because they don't want to compete against the news coming out of CES. What news coming out of CES? Th this kind of announcement, it'll get picked up whenever they make it about the follow-up to the Xbox 360. As big of a deal as that is, as big of a deal as Kinect has become, maybe not to gamers, but to gamers' moms, it will make... The show, it'll make morning shows, it'll make, you know, news everywhere regardless of when they announce it. News they're competing against out of CES is like, there's going to be some phones that all of like four people care about. It's not going to be a new iPhone. Apple's so far up their own asses, they do their own events now, which is actually what Microsoft said they're going to do. Um, <laughs> so I guess they're headed that direction now, too. Um... Let's see here. What else comes out of CES each year? Um, some weird alternate reality glasses that no one cares about, which is something that Microsoft said they're going to do, but I guess that'd be something they can announce whenever. Um, and actually, that might not even that announcement might not even come with the uh, Yukon 720 
whatever the next Xbox is. Because um, in those docs, it says the glasses aren't going to launch. Not only they aren't going to launch with it, they aren't even going to be on shelves for another year or two after the thing comes out. Um, oh, and there's always like a 180-inch TV or some crap. And maybe, just maybe, off in some corner, some, somebody will be selling a consumer version of an electron microscope powerful enough to see the microscopic penis on a man who goes out and buys a 180-inch plasma screen TV. Um, other than that kind of stuff, there isn't much news that comes out of CES anymore. So, I, I just really don't see, I'm like, oh, they don't want to compete against all that news. What news? What's to stop them from holding their own event that weekend? They'd probably get more press out of the stuff they announce than, the, than anything they actually announced at CES. Who gives a crap? The reason they left it wasn't because, oh, we didn't want to compete in this and that. They left it because the show is crap. <laughs> All right? It's a dying show. The, the rats are fleeing the ship. Ugh. Well, maybe not in every industry. The For the gaming industry, it's pretty much a dead show. Some things will be announced there. More stuff gets announced at Game Developers Conference than at CES these days. It's, it's almost a non-factor. Um, so that's why I went ahead. Those two reasons, the, the fact that they don't really have to officially be a part of the show to announce something at the show, and the fact that who I just really don't see that anyone in the gaming industry giving a crap about that show in the first place anymore. I'm fine with that date. Now, will I be wrong? Probably. Uh, <laughs> and maybe, maybe they don't announce it that date. Or maybe they announce it a few weeks later. I don't know. But that win release window really makes sense to me, especially with some other news that's come out recently. Uh, just in the last few weeks, there have been reports coming out of... Uh, uh, early dev units, dev kits being sent out uh, to some developers. Now, I mean, that, that doesn't mean they're making the thing yet. It means uh, here's a PC that get, that has components that get pretty close to what the 720 Yukon, whatever they call the thing, is going to be. If you develop it to run on this, you're in the ballpark. Um, and I'm sure they've had something on some dev units, you know, sitting around... Microsoft HQ, but they actually are producing a few more to send out to developers. And that's a good sign for early next year, because I don't think they want to just announce it at E3. I want to think they at least, I think they want to get the announcement of the thing out first, and then have E3, so they don't have to explain the name. They can just say, okay, we've already shown it to you, here are the games then spend two-thirds of the conference talking about Netflix and other dumb crap. Um, <laughs> and every other service they're going to charge you for on the thing. Um, but uh, by sending those dev kits out now, okay, it's May, which means there's seven more months in the year. It, to get a game finished, it's going to take them at least a year, even if they're using basically a pretty up version of some older engine. Um, to get any sort of, I mean, then launch titles a lot of the time are rushed anyway. Um, but to get a tech demo up and running, you can do that in, in six to eight months. And that early January, uh, that weekend in early January falls right in the middle of that to where they could have, I'm sure, and I'm sure internal Microsoft teams have probably had these things longer. Maybe not a lot longer, but they've had a general idea of which, where the hardware is going a little bit longer. So they've, I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's a team or two, maybe not a full, you know, 150 person production team, but you know, 20, 30 people working on the tech um, inside Microsoft already for months now. I'm sure. Um, so that would that would give them, you know, enough time to get a handful of good tech demos. And maybe like one or two levels of a few games they can play in real time, you know, not anywhere near finished. But I mean, you know, a good start to uh, enough stuff to run a press conference of is basically what I'm saying. So overall, I think that's a pretty like even if that those docs are a little out of date, even if they might it might not officially be a CES stage announcement or whatever. Uh, 
I still think that's a really uh, I think I, I still think that's the right window for when this thing's gonna happen is early uh, early 2013 announcement holiday 20 holiday 2013 things on the shelves and not not even just not even a well, and that I said even in the post, I said somewhere between September and November, they're probably going to want to do it September, just because can, you know camp out for two day fanboys are going to buy the thing out the week it comes out, even if they do a better job than you know the Wii where it just like sold out for months and months and months. No, they they don't want that. They want people to be able to buy it Black Friday. <laughs> they want mom to be able to find one black fr the morning of Black Friday, so I I really I would be expecting either a January or at latest like February announcement of the thing, really show it off and hype it up at E three, then get the thing on shelves September or October at the latest. Okay, there now I am officially done talking about that thing for the rest of this year. I hope, Ugh, or at least the next couple months. Okay, the video is getting kind of long, um, so I'll just do a couple quick wrap-ups about what's uh, coming on Nukezilla soon. Uh, I've hinted at video reviews before; that, those are still coming. Um, working on some stuff that just needs to get done before we get started. Uh, you know, getting the format figured out, uh, graphic, you know, intro and outro graphics, and who's doing, who's responsible for what and how, what gets uploaded where, and how we encode what resolution and all. They did the logistical crap. They're on their way. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, also, there will still be text-only reviews. Those aren't going away. Um, Partially just because a lot of people on staff don't have all the stuff to do video reviews yet or don't have either hardware or uh, technical skills. They just aren't familiar with video editing, video capture work, whatever. That's fine. We're still going to do text on, some text-only reviews. Um, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> this is going on a bit long. My throat's getting dry. Um, stupid clock um, <laughs> but uh, we are yeah we are still gonna do those and I've actually been talking with uh, Brett and some other people some friends of mine uh, who might be coming onto the site for this and, and to write other stuff but for this purpose he is one of the guys I bounced the ideas off of um, but it'd be a way for us to get reviews of new games done quicker close to their release date without Either the developer, publisher, whoever actually having to send us a copy, which barely ever happens, thus it taking us longer to actually get around to getting it reviewed, or us having to shell out 60 bucks, which we really don't have the budget for. Um, and a lot of people, I mean, if, and if it's some games, someone, pre, someone on staff pre-ordered it, they want to review it, that is fantastic. A lot of things people just don't get around to. This is the, this idea I have. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the details yet because we're still kind of kind of like the video thing, hammering out who's going who's responsible for what and word counts and every other dumb thing with it. But uh, we will get more reviews done in a timely manner starting very soon. Um, other than that, uh, that's about it this week. Uh, it's just kind of business as usual. Uh, no super huge announcements. Hopefully we can uh, get some more good content up on the site this week. And, uh, yeah, if you or anyone you know want to write for us, I'm basically taking open open applications right now. Um, you know, really you can just send it into the tips line. There's a submit a tip thing on there. Give me your email address and whatever. I'll see it, and uh, I'll get in touch with you. Um, yeah. So, uh, to all the readers and everyone out there, what are you doing? You got, bleh, bleh, bleh. if I could talk to finish the, <laughs> I get tongue-tied trying to finish the thing up. Uh, what are you guys up to this week? <laughs>